morning and welcome back to the channel folks. Really do appreciate you being here and you betcha it's another episode of Sourcing Fodder. So today um, doing something pretty cool actually. Well I mean it's just a normal thrift run but here's the story. Uh, essentially <laughs> we got to notice that the power is going to be out all day from 9 to 4 which is a big bummer. Um, but I figured, well, what better way to spend the day out and go thrifting? So, so I'm going to hit up Savers first. Um, I haven't been to Savers in probably a good four to six weeks. So I've got big expectations, which is a really bad thing to have when you're going thrifting. Um, and then I'll hit up a couple of other op shops around that area. And uh, then I've got to run a couple of little errands and... Hopefully I'll be back, oh, look, I'm not going to be out till 4 o'clock, I'm not going to spend the whole day thrifting, but when I get back from the thrifting, what I will be doing is just doing some more uh, photos on my phone and, and things like that, so um, yeah, wish me luck, we'll probably end up hitting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, could be 6 shops, so it might not be too bad after all, let's get it. Alright team, all done, um, and look, there wasn't as much there as I expected, you would have seen a cart full of, um, of books, a lot of those I actually put back, just, just that they weren't comping much, and I didn't want to spend if I didn't have to, so I paid about $64, that's after a discount, um, works out to be about $3.40, I think I got 19, 20 items, um, there was a bundle of Thomas in there which should do me a little bit better than um, just one toy, and I think there should be about three or four in there that I can get probably $18 each for. Um, sell a lot of Thomas, they do sit for a bit, but every so often I'll have someone come through and buy two or three at a time. Uh, uh, quite a lot of books, I did get that Lord of the Rings DVD set, that should get me a quick 40 bucks. Um, it was a little scratch here and there, but yeah, I'm pretty confident with it. There was also a few other uh, book bolos in there. There was a, um, a sealed uh, Ford manual, actually from like 1994 that should get me 40 bucks as well so pretty happy I should be able to clean up pricing I mean pay back everything with one or two items and then the rest will be uh, will be grabby uh, we're gonna head over to a uh, Vinnie's now I think it is and I'll uh, continue on I do have to make a phone call but we'll we'll get on from there So um, that was interesting. I haven't actually said this out loud to anyone. It's um, it all just happened real time. Just got out of Vinnie's. There wasn't anything in there. It was Jackal, and I was literally about to start saying this, and uh, I got the phone call. Um, but today is officially the day I've quit my my previous job. So for those that don't know, I've been on a leave of absence for the last two years, and. It was coming up to the point where I had to make a decision, am I going to go back or whatever? And, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm always been saying, you know, my intent is to keep doing what I'm doing and, and see how far I can go with that in the, as plan B. And it's been really, really rewarding, obviously, for the last two years doing this myself. But it's weird, still weird to be able to say, to have to call them up, have the conversation, you know, fill them in, when am I coming back, et cetera, et cetera, and actually just say, hey, look, I'm not coming back, you know, and... Um, yeah, it's it's a very, very crazy just feeling, like mixed emotions, but it's the best thing I've done. So officially today I've I've resigned, I've quit, I've um I've just done that over the phone verbally, I have to send an email and all that jazz, but this is it. This is the start of everything else. Now it gets now it gets real. <laughs> and you know, I haven't been taking pay from them or anything like that. I've been purely on unpaid leave and this now means that it's just in the back of my mind that doesn't exist anymore, that opportunity. But as I said, it was never the intent to go back, but I didn't want to burn that bridge until I had exhausted that full two years. So this is it. It's all happening. So I appreciate everyone that's come on this this journey and there'll probably be a bit more to this and I'll, I'll talk about it in another video and things. But 
real-time update as I'm out here thrifting. So this is the reality of it. This is crazy. It's all just sinking in. So, <sighs> yep, I'm going to go have some lunch and then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll crack on. Alright team, that was the uh, the second last shop and we uh, done well, we spent 40 bucks, I got 40 books, um, fantasy and some pretty old school stuff, there was about 5 or 6 Biggles books which they do really really well, my dad collects them but he's done all his collection now so they will be some nice little dollary do's for me, um, and got some good old Wheel of Time books, some of the earlier editions which once again, they're quite uh, quite quick to sell at the moment just because of the Wheel, Wheel of Time TV series and uh, things like that And there's also some Terry Brooks, which I've sold quite a few of a lot of those I'll just try and bundle up and move quickly, but there's some hard covers there, too. Um, oh, I'm, I'm super grateful um, That that little place that I go to Usually tends to provide me with some goodies every so often not all the time, but um, it's where I've got a lot of my uh, Best book finds actually so nice little place really grateful to be able to get some goodies there again all right we've got one more to go and uh, then we are done for the day and we'll be taking it easy for the rest of the day hopefully the power's back on but I reckon at this chance it probably won't be we'll uh, <laughs> we will find out when we get home we've got one more store so let's see what happens and then I gotta go uh, catch up with some folks also from um, Australia Post just uh, get some more things on order and then I'll be home and then I'll take you through the goodies Rock and roll. Alright team, I forgot to share with you. Um, I didn't get anything at the last op shop. Well, sorry, I did, but I didn't get anything to sell. Just got a couple of little Star Wars things uh, for my shelf. Some little R2-D2 tins. They actually were holding them for me. <laughs> uh, that's why I keep going to the same places, because they look after me. And I've just been to the post office, ordered in some new supplies. They'll give me a buzz when it's done. And now it's time to head home and I'll take you through all the goodies that we've got. You know, one thing that I, I do, and I've mentioned this in a few other videos, I just love being able to connect, have the conversations with my usual, um, I guess, people that I'm interacting with, right? You know, from the post office or whether it's the op shops and just seeing the regular folks. It um, It's just encouraging and it's nice and it's comforting just to be able to share some banter and you know they ask how business is going and we check in and we share stories and that's what it's all about right so you know I'm, I'm just super grateful to be able to continue to build those relationships and, and connect so yeah you should do it more often as well if you're not doing it all right team I will see you in a jiffy all right team we're back and we've got all the goodies that we picked up today not that end stuff but all this so this is what I picked up in just in the last slot here 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 and there so lots of some oldies if you can ever get your hands on some of the uh, beagle stuff it does pretty good um so on all we've got a whole bunch of different stuff we've got some of the robert jordan stuff uh terry brooks a bit of mixed stuff there some robert jordan as well a bit of mixed uh some of the rings and that's just some of the old school stuff this is all the stuff from savers we've got some small novels uh that's going to be for a giveaway on my live stream this guy should get me 20 um, a couple of mangas. I reckon there's 30 bucks for the three. Um, that's a $25 book. Sold it twice, two times. Sorry. This guy was just cool because it was a Nintendo promotion. It was only 99 cents. But I don't know if this is like a rare version or something. Anyway, I got it. Um, this guy should get 15, 16. A couple in here will get me 19. The rest I'll just bundle up. This is probably the best one for the day. I think it's sealed. Uh, so that should do alright for a collector. That should do all right too. That one I reckon I'll get 40 bucks for, if it works. Also got that in these guys, I've sold these before. I got that the other day, I forgot to share about it, but got this one up next to my um, next to my uh, storage unit, so not too bad. Now in terms of expenditure, we've actually um, 
what, 64 plus 40. So we've done about 104 bucks. I'll chuck it up on screen. Uh, total amount of books must have been, sorry, total amount of goods was, I think from memory, and I'll put it up on screen, was 59. Uh, so it probably works out to be about a dollar seventy, dollar eighty. I'll put all the details up. If anything, I've sold by the time I've seen this. Um, I'll chuck it up, but I reckon it will all definitely sell. All right, appreciate you being here. If you've got any questions, comments, chuck them down below. Otherwise, you have a wonderful day. Cheers.